This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1593. Strength Training, The Ultimate Fountain of Youth by Eric Bach of bachperformance.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, welcome back to Optimal Health Daily. This is the podcast where I act as your very own personal narrator and read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs online. I hope you're having a wonderful first week of the new year. I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short, so let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Strength Training, The Ultimate Fountain of Youth by Eric Bach of bachperformance.com. We've all heard this one before. Wait until you're my age. You'll pay for all that heavy lifting later. To make it worse, the remark usually comes from an old guy in the gym after one of your big lifts, leaving you fuming when you should be exuberant. You feel like telling the old guy to stick his attitude where the sun don't shine, but your mom taught you to respect your elders. So you seethe with anger and fantasize about how a dumbbell might accidentally fall off the rack and onto the old guy's toes. Kidding, sort of. But here's the deal. He's not entirely wrong. Almost everyone gets weaker as we age. As my colleague Lee Boyce says, quote, the big lifts are for guys in their 20s, end quote. Not to say you can't lift heavy well past your 20s. You can. Those days are just fewer and farther between. Work, family, and other obligations take precedence over living in the gym, especially as Father Time does his best to beat you down despite magical elixirs and the uh-huh, miracle diets popping up everywhere. Muscle weakness can lead to decreased quality of life and even life expectancy. Many studies have looked at the link between mortality and strength. One study concluded muscular strength is inversely and independently associated with death from all causes and cancer in men, even after adjusting for cardiorespiratory fitness and other potential confounders. In other words, not training increases your chance of death and cancer. Yikes. So what's the deal? Strength training improves your health span and your lifespan. My grandmother lived to her mid-80s, despite being sick for nearly 40 years. She had a long lifespan, but a short health span, meaning years of healthy and disease-free life. Heck, my dad said he could hardly remember his mother being healthy his entire life. Now, sometimes you get a bad draw in life. There's no other way to put it. And sometimes there's not much to be done. But more often, you can fight back. The evidence is clear. Strength training improves work capacity, improves longevity, and helps you maintain muscle and bone health and mobility. Lifting weights isn't about being jacked, bro. It's about living longer and healthier, bro. Strength training helps you keep lean muscle, preserving your basal metabolic rate, and help you burn more calories at rest. All this improves long-term health but my hormones changed. Yes, indeed they do, or they will. The truth is most people who say, my hormones have changed, have another problem. Their lean muscle mass is withering away. As a result, they don't burn as many calories while resting. Hormone levels will fluctuate to an extent with aging, but much of this can be prevented and reversed with a balanced attack in the gym. Take my client, Tim who's lifted weights consistently for the better part of three decades. In his late 50s, Tim is stronger than he was when we started training seven years ago. He's in better shape than most guys in their 20s and 30s. Tim says, quote, Strength training has allowed me to keep nearly all my strength and muscle. Honestly, I feel better now than I did a decade ago. End quote. Heavy strength training is the most important type of exercise to improve your quality of life as you get older. As pointed out in a study, extreme declines in strength lead to declines in most other physical qualities. Frailty results in lower levels of physical activity, decreased muscle strength, increased fatigue, slower walking speed, and unwanted weight loss. It's also associated with adverse health outcomes, an increased dependency on others, decreased mobility, disability, institutionalization, and even mortality. Weaker, older adults also tend to fall more frequently and have greater difficulty standing from sitting or lying positions. Intelligently planned strength training can attack these issues 
head on. Training for strength helps you retain lean muscle mass, keeps your metabolism running at max speed, and helps you look more youthful and vibrant. The stronger you are, the easier everything becomes. That goes for everything from moving a couch, walking up the stairs, or playing a sport. Building strength under the bar can improve your relative strength, or how strong you are for your size. When your relative strength improves, it's easier to move your body, whether you're walking up the stairs, doing chin-ups, or running around a baseball diamond. If you want to live well, live long, and prosper, then heavy strength training is essential. A huge principle of Bach performance, intelligent strength training. Strength is the emphasis with all my clients, whether they're an athlete or just trying to look good on the beach with their shirt off. Improved strength improves more than your confidence. It improves all other training qualities. With heavy strength training, you'll lose fat faster with heavy strength work than blitzing your body with an endless assault of intervals and circuits. Heavy strength work is superior in helping you retain lean muscle in a caloric deficit, which in turn keeps your metabolism going full throttle. When it comes to building muscle, heavy strength work improves muscle fiber recruitment and helps you lift more weight over time. It's easy to get bogged down with the endless assault of sexy bodybuilding methods, but let's cut to the truth. Building lean muscle first requires a base of strength. With a base of strength, you'll recruit more muscle fibers and be able to lift more weight for more reps. Strength is the force multiplier for every other trainable quality in the gym. Strength trained to build more from less with bodybuilding training methods like drop sets and high rep pump work, thanks to the added tension you'll create in your muscles. Building a foundation of strength improves your ability to build muscle. Intelligent strength training improves sports performance and reduces your risk of injury. Strength building is a tool to achieve a goal. Everyone is different. Exercises and load must be carefully selected. And building strength isn't for the faint of heart. It requires hard work, careful planning, and sound execution. The bottom line? If you're not lifting weights, start now. Getting stronger in the gym is the compound interest of training. The more you put in earlier, the more wealth you'll accumulate over time. When you put a premium on strength, everything else becomes easier. As science and experience have shown us, heavy resistance training could add inches to your arms, inches off your belly, and quality years to your life. You just listened to the post titled Strength Training, The Ultimate Fountain of Youth by Eric Bach of bachperformance.com. We all know the importance of self-care and FitOn is the number one free fitness app designed to help you achieve your health and wellness goals and fit some much-needed me time into your schedule. With FitOn, that me time can be Pilates, dance, yoga, meditation, or full-blown workouts like high-intensity interval training, strength, cardio, toning, and more. FitOn is the number one premium free fitness app and it's redefining the workout experience. Best of all, FitOn workouts are always free to use. You can access over 1,000 workouts anytime, anywhere, streamed to your phone, TV, or laptop, from world-class trainers like Cassie Ho and Caroline Pierce to celebrities like Julianne Huff and Gabrielle Union. Plus, FitOn has workouts as short as five minutes, so there are no excuses to skip one. Join over 10 million people getting their fit on. Work out for free anytime, anywhere. Text DAILY to 64000 to join fit on for free. Text DAILY to 64000. That's DAILY to 64000. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Heavy strength training forces the muscles to grow. It increases the demand on them, which leads to that growth. The protein we get from our diets gets pulled into the muscle tissue to help repair them after heavy strength sessions. But what is heavy strength training? Images of Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime might be running through your head right now, but that's not what we're talking about. As Eric mentioned in his post, heavy strength training is actually a relative term. It comes down to each person's abilities. For example, holding a 15-pound dumbbell in each hand may feel heavy to some 
but light for others. Luckily, the American College of Sports Medicine has guidelines for heavy strength training that allow us to personalize these guidelines for each person. It goes something like this. Pick a weight you can lift three to five times. If you can lift the weight more than five times, then pick a heavier weight. After lifting the weight three to five times, rest for two to three minutes to allow your muscles to recover. This is because when you train with heavy weights, your muscles need a longer time to reboot. Then repeat, meaning lift the weight another three to five times. Then rest for another two to three minutes. If you're feeling particularly strong, repeat the exercise one more time, followed by, you guessed it, another two to three minute rest. If you're new to strength training, you're probably gonna wanna stop there. But if you're a bit more experienced, you can continue and move on to another body part and follow this same pattern. Once you're done training for the day, don't perform any heavy strength training for the next two days to allow the muscles to recover. But if you are sore the next day, do some light work on those muscles, meaning do some very light activity. Stretch it out. That will help repair those muscles even faster. All right, that's it for today. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for sharing the show with someone. And I'll be back here tomorrow as usual. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.